Pokemon Store! Pokemon Store! He's gonna eat your souls! Because they're made of cookies! Cookies! Not cookies, but kathookies, because I fucked up the words. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, I ain't the worst thing in the world. I think I got fatter and it won't fit me right. Yeah. Anyways, this video is about. Well, there's gonna be pros and cons to this. Excuse me while I swallow some spit because it was about to come out of my mouth like a slobbering dog from hell. From hell. Uh, <laughs> Hayes. Whichever one you want to say. Whatever. <laughs> Here's the freaking deal. The fact is, I don't know why I'm acting crazy tonight. Because I'm fucking nuts, that's probably why. But the thing is, is this. When it boils down... <laughs> Notice how I got really normal though? Yeah, anyways, anyways. Okay, come on. Get it together, man. <sighs> um, <laughs> Here's the deal. If this has a deal with collector's editions. Now... Here's a little bit of history of me with the collector's editions. I always used to think that they were a really cool and unique thing. Um, I always thought, because it seemed like at the point in time when collector's editions started to get interesting, it only seemed like there were select games here and there that were really popular that would get these collector's editions. And, um, excuse me, I'm still kind of twisted a bit. Damn it! I think the design has shifted over or something, or maybe it's the camera. I don't know. Fight. <coughs> um... The, uh, excuse me, heartburn and belching. I apologize. Uh, I always was a person where I wanted to have these collector's editions. If it was really big games, I always wanted to have them, like, all the time. But they were just way too damned expensive. And these were, like, really big-time games that got these collector's editions. And it was kind of a, of a special, awesome moment that you would actually get one of one of these things, if it was a, especially a franchise or a, or a game that you were really into, or a franchise you were really into, or something you were really excited about, you're like, wow, this collector's edition has some really awesome stuff in it. This is a reason I want to get it. Whether it's a statue, art book, soundtrack, uh, something special inside like a map, or a piece of jewelry, or a watch, or a figurine, or just whatever. Um, poster, you know, and the like, and a nice little collectible box. <sighs> You put it in a box, you wrap it with a bow, all that stuff. You know, the pretty box was basically the bow on the game itself. And, of course, it came with the game. I like that thing that I heard one time. I believe Wolfenstein, the new order, uh, came... They had, like, a collector's edition that didn't even come with the game or something like that. That's fucking stupid. And after these rumors I ended up hearing about E3 this year, Wolfenstein 2 has apparently announced it's uh, your rumored or whatever. Apparently it's going to happen, but if it does, please, id... Bethesda, whoever the hell it is, don't, don't do that again. That was one of the most stupidest, dumbest fucking ideas you could ever think of. You make the game, you want people to buy the game, but you put out a special edition that doesn't have the game? What fucking sense does that make? Whoever bought that, you're a dumb motherfucker. If you ended up going and buying a collector's edition that doesn't even have the game in it, you, what the hell is wrong with you? It's a game, you want the game, the game's supposed to be in there. No, you're gonna buy all this other shit. For an exuberant amount of money that doesn't even have the game in it, you're a freaking moron. It, guys, don't do that again. I don't know what type of re-retarded -re moment or whatever the hell it is that you had, but it was dumb as hell. I laughed when I heard that. I was like, I can understand having all that extra shit. But where's the damn game? You want the damn game? That's why the damn game is there. That's why you're making the damn game. You're producing the damn game. You're not producing all this other extra shit without the game inside. Don't do it again. It was stupid. Freaking stupid! But I'm not there to rant. I'm not not there. I'm not here to rant about that. Um, it's basically about how special editions nowadays have been hoard out. They have been hoard out. Hear what I said. Read my lips and understand what the hell I'm trying to say. Collectors editions are whores now. They are hoard out beyond I believe. Like every damn game that comes out has had this collectors edition. That is the price of a fucking light bill. Of an electricity bill, for God's sakes. Over a hundred and some dollars. Are you kidding me? Why is it that every game has to have this? Now, granted, I don't buy these things. And there's only been a few throughout my life that I've actually have gotten. <clears throat> and I think one or two of them were actually gifts for Christmas or my birthday. I didn't actually buy them myself. So that was on the person themselves who bought them. But I was grateful for them, nevertheless. Um, but it, it just... 
I'm, I can understand if you're gonna if you're gonna charge a little bit more for a collector's edition because you're getting these other little extra trinkets and things in there. I can understand that, but the price that you put these things at is ridiculous. I'm serious. They're like, oh, it's only for the hardcore fan. Okay, hardcore fan, did you do you realize that all of these older gamers that are have been hankering and wanting instruction manuals back inside of games again? Did you ever think that hardcore gamers who have grown up with gaming want those back? You know, and, and it's because this brings us to mind why it is you can go and make all these exuberant and massive collector's editions with all this shit inside of it for a, a very high price, but you can put a little booklet inside of a game. How is it that you can mass produce all this extra shit? But you can't, you can't make a, a nice little instruction booklet, full color instruction booklet with lore, with characters, with biography, with weapon descriptions, with whatever. Like it was, but I understand. People are going to look at me and say, oh, I'm an old timer. Gaming isn't like what it used to be, blah, 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 blah. You know, there's pros and cons of gaming today, and there's pros and cons of gaming in the past. And this is one of the things that just pisses me off why you can't put a little booklet of paper inside of there that actually enhances the experience of the game that you either wouldn't find in the game, or no, you want to put a little pamphlet in there to go online and line looking at an instructional booklet that's either in the game online or online on a website or something like that. I'm not going to take my time to do that. That's stupid. I want to pull the damn thing out and look at it and read it and get more involved in the game. But no. You can, you can, you, because it's stupid, because they're like, oh, well, we, we, where it's, it costs too much money, you know, the big old fat motherfucker sitting up there in the office smoking their cigarettes and drinking their Chardonnay or whatever the hell. I don't drink. I don't give a shit what they drink. They could drink arsenic for all I care. As a matter of fact, they probably need to, because the simple, that was a joke my dad used to make every time he used to order food somewhere. So whatever, I put it in my little bit here, whatever. The fact of the matter is, they go and they sit there and they're like, oh, well, That was me imitating an oxygen, oxygen mask, by the way. Well, uh, we can go and um, put this statue in here and this art booklet and this soundtrack that isn't even the official soundtrack. It's only 12 sampler tracks because the real soundtrack is over in Japan or somewhere and it has over 40 tracks of real music. We can put that in there, and we can put this statue, and we can put these figurines, and we can put this poster in there, in this nice little box, and we can sell it for $150. Then somebody will come up, and they'll end up asking the question, Well, Mr. Fat Man Business Motherfucker... <sighs> Sorry, I tried to go somewhere interesting with that, but it didn't work. Why is it that we can't just put... Uh, how come... We can do that, if you'd like, but why is it that we can't go and actually have the standard editions have instruction booklets in them because you know you're already putting in an art book with instruction manual in there remember older games in the past that used to have that like say the lunar series they used to have little artwork in there with the instruction manual and part of a strategy guide in there hell i think one of them had like the entire strategy guide in there it will one become about well um can, can we do that? Can we put that in the standard editions? You know, because they're putting so much money and time and effort into these collector's editions. Collector's editions. Collector's editions. <sighs> collector's editions. <laughs> We're putting so much time and effort in these collector's editions, then why can't we do the, uh, put the instruction booklets inside of there for people who just get the standard editions? We need to get the... <laughs> Kind of had a Darth Vader moment there. We need to make sure they end up having the uh, collector's editions. That's what we're selling and that's what we're making money on. You're fired. <laughs> if I knew how to speak Hutton or whatever it is, done with Job of the Hut, I would have done it because that would have been a perfect moment to fit that in with the big, fat, stupid fucking businessman that doesn't even know how to put a little instruction book in inside of a damn game, but they want to go and just to have you pay out the fucking ass for these collector's editions. That's exactly how I see this shit. That's exactly why I avoid this stuff like the plague. Hell, going on Amazon for God's sakes. Going on Amazon and seeing this shit. Matter of fact, let me get on there real quick and let me uh, uh, put this in here because I didn't think about doing this shit from before because I'm stupid. <coughs> Let's see. Uh... Let's look at uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Collector's Edition, shall, 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 shall we? Here's the thing. Um, I'm excited for this game. It's like, 
a really unique take on like an action role playing game where you have futuristic like uh, <laughs> animatronic. A robotic type animals that have have taken over the future and basically society has gone back to like a caveman primitive age but you still see all the ruins of like futuristic society and vines and trees have grown up if you haven't seen it definitely check it out it's called horizon zero dawn um but i found out that there was a collector's edition for this thing guess how much it is 119.99 like i said that's pretty much the price of a light bill that's what we say down in the south. But if you're from up north or from up west or whatever, electricity bill, you know, maybe you say light bill too, but whatever. <sighs> While the original edition is 60 bucks, that's the one I'm going for because fuck your collector's editions. <laughs> I guess I say fuck your DLC. Now here I am, you know, I'm talking about the little p penny piecemeal bullshit DLC. That's what I'm talking about. Not the full length mamma jamma deals. You know, that actually means something when it comes to DLC. But yeah, fuck your collector's editions. Fuck them straight to hell. And they can stay there too. Don't stay to hell and back. They can stay there in hell. But yeah, let's see. What was another one here, as a matter of fact? Um, so here's one that I actually think that is... Um, uh, really uh, more more along the lines of probably a bit more fair <sighs> maybe not really I hate saying that because the game itself is going to be 60 but this collector's edition is going to be 89.99 it's a uh, persona 5 it's uh, called the take your heart premium edition um, yeah it comes seems like what it comes with it seems like that's a <sighs> I'm not gonna buy it I'm not saying that. I'm just speaking for for what probably other people would say or some of my friends would say because they're excited for Persona 5 as well as they're excited for Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But, um, yeah, like $89.99 from what you get there probably seems like it would it would be an okay price because you'd be paying $60 for the game itself. Um, but that Horizon Zero Dawn thing, eh, no. It just seems like all of these other collector's editions that I've seen that have been, like, an exuberant amount of money is just, like, really stupid, cheap crap that you see in, like, every collector's edition. Or you're basically just buying the game in a statue and nothing else. And another thing that really gets to me is all the freaking DLC crap. All the freaking digital download this you get the collector's edition you get the digital download this and the digital download that and the digital download straight up your ass oh god I buy a collector's edition it's a collector's edition because I'm collecting things I'm not collecting digital stuff because you can easily take that away from me if the fucking servers go down I don't want to collect digital stuff I'm not collecting that that's just information on the fucking server Collector's editions is physical stuff, you dumb idiots. Physical, not digital, because fuck digital. When it comes to these collector's editions, it's like you're just wasting money with that. Get, get this collector's edition. Get this free gun. Get this free map. Get this, get that, get this free outfit. Get the, get the, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit out of control with that. But yeah, that that's honestly how I feel about that. Especially like with some JRPGs. Sometimes, because at least from Japan, some of them actually have their heads out of their asses and can think straight. They'll go and release like the standard edition, but actually call it the collector's edition or limited edition, and it'll be like 60 bucks. Tales of Exilia, for example. Tales of Exilia 1. That ended up, it was like, it was like a, a limited edition or collector's edition or something like that. And it had a soundtrack, wasn't full soundtrack, but <laughs> of course we knew that was going to happen. It was that, and it came with an art booklet, and it came with the instruction booklet, obviously, and it came with a game, and it came in a nice little slip uh, case thing. Well, it was just like a more artsy kind of box that it was in. But yeah, it was it was it's, it was definitely awesome, and it was just the regular price of a regular standalone game, and it wasn't like eighty dollars, ninety dollars, hundred dollars. God forbid, one hundred twenty dollars. You know, I mean, seriously, people, we have to vote with our wallet here. We have to. I can understand if you want a collector's edition, 
But we got to let these people know that we aren't going to pay these exuberant prices for the, this this crap. Maybe I'm using that word. But I don't I don't care. You know where I'm coming from with this damn message because I know there's lots of you out there that feel the exact same way. <sighs> Seriously, dude, I've just said screw these collector's editions and I'm buying standard now. I'm buying standard. Because I'm happy with standard. Because what's going to happen with some of this collector's edition stuff? I'm going to pull it out be... <laughs> be like that for about five minutes like a cat with a ball of yarn and then go take a nap somewhere and the rest of the shit that was in the box is just going to be sitting off to the side after I explored a little bit more. Because what's the main thing I'm going to be doing and the main reason I bought it for was for the game. I'm, some people may hate this video. Some people may have their own opinion on it. Whatever the case may be, you know, so leave a comment below if you have if you have something to say about it and we can have a discussion. Don't just go and dislike the video. I mean, because I know I'm probably going to ruffle somebody's feathers or crumble somebody's cookie or blow up somebody's skirt or twist their panties all in a wad because of what I'm saying here dealing with this. And that's fine. That's your thoughts. That's that's your opinion. That That's whatever. But leave a comment so we can just have have a discussion with this. Because this is honestly how I feel. It is just seems, it just seems like a complete ripoff with these things. It really does. Sit back and just think about it, man. Just sit back and, th and and you know it's funny because you know some of you gamers are like, well I want to get this game and I want to get this game and I want to get this game. Well, if some of you stop buying these damn collector's editions, you'd end up having more money that you could save up to buy the other games instead of having to pick and choose from one or the other. You think just because you go and get a collector's edition, you're going to flip it around for some massive profit on eBay. Which, by the way, fuck you scalpers. I, I just... Why? Why are you going to go do that? Because you may, you may not even sell it. And God forbid the idiot who ends up buying it. Because there are some idiots out there, especially the way the world is. There are some freaking stupid idiots in the world today, beyond all measure. Hell, some of them live <laughs> in the town that I'm at. <laughs> so I can relate on every level, as I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there can just as well. But if you just save back your save back your money with these things and make a statement, make a statement that these I understand that the gaming industry is an industry and it makes money. But if you don't actually price things in a in a rather <laughs> a sane type of way, your customers are going to say, screw you, and they're not going to buy it. I understand about business. I understand about this and that and making money. But if you're not in the price range when it comes to the customer, you're not going to make the money anyways. So don't give me that bullshit where you just don't understand. Motherfucker, if you're going to end up charging me $200 for a damn collector's edition, you could take it and shove it right up your ass because you're not getting my money. I don't give a damn how much I care about the franchise or the game itself. I'm getting the standard edition to prove to you that you're a greedy little glutton for money and you deserve to have people say, screw your freaking collector's editions. <sighs> Anyways, that's enough with that. I'm starting to get a little perspirated, so I'm going to go ahead and go now. But seriously, guys, stop and think about that. Stop and really think about that, about what's going on with this stuff. And stop complaining about, I can't get this game because I bought that game because I got the collector's edition. Stop buying the fucking collector's editions! Just buy the standard edition and you'll have the damn money to buy the next game that you want. And stop bitching about it because it's not going to help you. Because you only have yourself to blame because you're buying these damn things. I understand because I used to be there myself. I see a collector's edition come out for a game that I like. I'm like, oh, you know, I want to get this, but not that price. And I don't like that price. Sometimes I caved in. I think I, honestly, I don't believe I ever really caved in. Besides those couple of gifts that I actually had gotten, the special editions that I got were actually right on point to what I had mentioned about with Tales of uh, Exilia 1. I think it was Exilia. It was like 60 bucks, like I said, standard edition, but it came with all that extra stuff in it. But it, seriously, dude, these... These collector's editions are out of control. They are. It, it, it's not even coming down to a point anymore where it's just, oh, wow, this is really cool. Let's go ahead and and, and get this because it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for this specific game. You know, It's not like something that comes out maybe one uh, a couple times out of a year or something like that. It seems like every new big release or whatever it is always has a collector's edition all the time. All the time. And, yeah, you don't have to buy it. 
I'm sure as hell not buying it. But I wanted to put this message out here because it, this is how I feel about it. And this is how I feel about some gamers when they complain about certain games they can't get because they're wasting money on this shit that these publishers and developers are putting out there and, 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 and charging such large amounts for it. I mean, my God, man. That 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 hundred and, and some hundred nineteen dollar whatever it was for that special edition, for some people that's damn that's a damn insurance payment on a car for a month for some people for God's sakes you know something that actually helps you something that takes your old freaking ass to the store to go get said game and gets you around and gets you where you need to go to you know being a responsible adult instead of buying these overpriced stupid fucking collector's editions. Because a little collector's edition ain't going to take your ass, raggedy ass around everywhere. It ain't going to take you to the grocery store. It ain't going to take you to go see your mama. It ain't going to take you to work. It ain't going to go take you to the, to the kitty club or whatever. Or whatever the hell you do with your life. God. Anyways, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this now because this video went on a whole hell of a lot longer than I thought that it would. So anyways, later taters. Stop buying the damn collector's editions. You're wasting money. <laughs> Love y'all.